was time for my physical. The year before, the PSA was about 3.2, and all of a sudden, it jumped up to four and a half. With a Gleason score of six, he said that was the very early stages of detectable cancer. And uh, the first choice, he said, you don't have to do anything. I call it watchful waiting. Well, watchful waiting for cancer to continue on did not seem like a good option to me or my wife. Once I read about the robotic surgery and the advantages, at least there were the advantages I could see by reading, uh, it just seemed to me the fact that uh, the robotics accuracy, a robot doesn't get tired. Approximately 80 to 85 percent of the prostatectomies which are currently done in the United States are now being done robotically. Uh, that represents a huge change that has occurred in the last uh, four to five years. It is a major advance in terms of the laparoscopic approach. Uh, there is a tremendous difference in vision. Um, the robot itself allows you to articulate the same wrist movements as a human does and in fact adds a few more movements to it. They said, do you need any pain medication? I said, no. I said, I don't. I said, what am I supposed to feel? And when they told me, I said, well, that's about how I feel, but it doesn't, doesn't bother me that much. Uh, so really that first day, I didn't even have any extra pain medication. The robot has had a tremendous impact on how pay, prostatectomy patients are managed. Um, we've realized as a result of our findings using the robot that the patients can be discharged earlier from hospital. The catheter duration is not as long. It didn't take long to recover and then the continence came back quite quickly. Uh, very little scarring. If you do have the cancer, you have to sit down and with your family, your spouse and family, and make a decision. And the earlier the detection, uh, the easier the decision is perhaps to have it removed. At the present time, we're probably the only institution which offers all four approaches to prostatectomy, namely perineal, laparoscopic, uh, open retropubic, and robotic-assisted laparoscopic prostatectomy. So uh, I would say to anybody who's out there, um, certainly you need to choose your surgeons carefully. Uh, you need to go to exper an experienced institution and um, hopefully they would agree that MUSC has all of those requirements. Mm -hmm.